Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Marisa. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing some beautiful beach themed and sea creature silicone molds from BB Craft. So let's get started. Hey guys, so here are some of the things I used in the resin art using the silicone mold. Some Arteza mica powder in gold and cocoa brown. Some natural shell pieces. Some uh, glass shards. Some aqua uh, mica pigment from Primal Flow. And some glitter as well. Some real shells. And some Prolex pigment in white. And this cool little like sea green pebbles from Dollar Tree. And I use the Tea Expert resin kit. Okay, so up next we are going to unmold these wonderful silicone molds. Hey guys, so first I just want to thank BB Craft for sponsoring another video. Their website is going to be in the description below as well as their YouTube program. If you have a YouTube channel with 100 subscribers or more, you could apply for their program. And I have a code you could use at checkout and I could wet paint five and you could save five dollars off a forty dollar purchase as well as all the links to these wonderful uh molds it's a set of ten all right so let's bring this camera down and we are going to do some unmolding i have to say i truly enjoyed using these molds look how beautiful they came out and i even realized this little starfish had a little curve to it. That little sparkle there you see is the, uh, the um, glass shards and the glitter. <clears throat> Sorry guys. So this came out absolutely beautifully. I really love these molds. They're so soft and they are incredibly easy to clean. You just wash it off with a little dish soap. And they are incredibly easy to unmold. And they had beautiful texture. So here is the second one, actually. Look how beautiful that texture is. It literally looks like a real shell. If you want to get really realistic with it, you can really do that. Use uh, colors. I just wanted to use like a nice brown. Make a more realistic looking shell. It, it's so easy to unmold. And here's a little fish. It actually looks like flounder from the Little Mermaid to me anyway. Very cute. Kind of cartoony, not realistic, but it is adorable nonetheless. Very, very nice. So the resin was a little too soft. It's not the mold. Um... I didn't let it cure long enough for this one in particular, so I'm going to be a little gentle with it, but you could still pop it out and then just set it down and it could cure for another day and that's fine. So beautiful texture, that those glass shards really kind of give it an extra touch. Beautiful, I just absolutely love the texture and the detail to each uh, mold, beautiful. And see how they just pop out so easily. Look at that. Just gorgeous. Look how beautiful the texture is. Just realistic. Oh, there was a little extra piece of uh, resin there. And when it's pliable like that, you could just pop it off. And you could shape it and sand it down. Okay, so... Yeah, it's just absolutely gorgeous. I just love the texture. Very realistic. And they I put a lot of uh, attention to detail on these. That's why they really attracted me. So let's move those guys over. And we're going to bring out the next few. <clears throat> Alrighty. 
let's pop this bad boy out look how beautiful this came out this one's a little deeper i love that and i love the fact they're all individual look how beautiful this is i use some of those real shell pieces in that one just very sparkly and pretty i just love 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 it i love it yeah i do love the fact that they're all individual and not just one big huge uh, sheet of molds because it's much easier to pop out look how pretty this one came out i left this one very clear and i believe i put those like sea green pebbles in there with the glass and with a little bit of the glitter i love that one that is one of my favorite ones just beautiful and the, i just love them all actually look how easy they popped out I did use the natural shells in that one, the little pieces. Very beautiful. I did a lot of browns and aquas this time. Try to go more realistic. I mean, the mermaid tail isn't realistic, but you know. Alrighty. Let's move these guys over. There's a little whale or dolphin, whatever. And here's this one. As a little bit of the holes there is actually me. I didn't pop all the bubbles out of the resin in that one. So that is uh, user, you know, it's on me. Um, yeah, I didn't pop enough bubbles. I didn't put enough heat to it so the bubbles could pop out. So sorry about that, but it's still cute. And this sea urchin, I just mixed the brown and the aqua. I thought that was just a little more interesting very very cute and pretty and i like the fact the backs are totally flat so you can you know attach them to other projects okay i love them i am very very happy with them my favorite ones are actually these guys the more realistic looking ones i do love the mermaid tail but i just want to show you you know close up how beautiful they are so yeah that is it that is my project share of these beautiful bb craft silicone molds that one just has to cure a little bit longer so that is it guys i really enjoyed using them let me know how you feel about them what is your opinion of these beautiful molds put it down in the comments below and thanks again to BB Craft for sponsoring another video. Just remember, all the links are in the description below. I really appreciate you guys watching today. And I will have all the links in the description, like I said. And listen, guys, I will see you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Bye.